Oh, the wind's meant to die down a bit. Oh, wait, that's the car's small. shaking. So windy. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I hope you're all great. We've come three and a half hours to the north of Wales for this weekend. And as you can hear, it's so windy. It's so windy. The weather is awful. We're in for an interesting few days. But we've actually got a hotel booked for two nights, which is very unlike us. We usually stay in my car or camp. It's um, very bougie. Yeah, very bougie. We thought we'd treat ourselves. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow and we're just really excited to be up here. Loads of people have requested either in Instagram or comments that we come back to North Wales and show, show everyone some more secret places. So that's what we're going to do this weekend. We actually have a long list of places that we are planning to go to, but it's obviously weather dependent. And right now we're meant to be going on a 20 minute hike to a blue lagoon however it's a bit stupid to be hiking in this wind and rain it might be getting better in a bit i think we're just gonna hang out here for a bit it's a great start to the trip there's a proper storm that's where we're meant to be going if you're new to the channel this is our favorite book we're using it for all our welsh trips so we really recommend checking it out if you haven't already but also this will be our final welsh adventure if you saw last week's video you know that we are leaving Swansea for in a, a few while. weeks time for a while. I'm sure we'll come back at some point. Yeah. As always, if you do like this video, click like, click subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new adventures in the future. And we really hope you enjoyed the video. We'll probably catch up with you when we can yeah, leave the car. You, yeah. <laughs> We decided to travel 10 minutes south, lower into the valley in the hopes of being less exposed to the wind, but with the rain also in full force, we decided to make a plan B for the afternoon. Oh, hi. I'm wondering if you could help me. We're considering coming to the bouldering wall. We're not from around here. We're actually from Swansea. So we're wondering if we can just turn up and climb. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, great. We'll be there in a few hours. Thanks. Thanks, have a nice day. Thanks, bye. With the idea of a warm and dry climbing gym booked for a few hours time, we headed out to explore Dorothea Quarry in ruins. Lying in the Nantal Valley and dating from the 12th century, this usually turquoise quarry was quite the sight. With caves, waterfalls and a depth of 100 metres in some places, it is no wonder this quarry is a prime spot for divers and swimmers. Due to the depth of the quarry, workers were often working well below the water table level so had to be innovative in order to lift slate to the surface. And it's still raining in here. It is still raining in here. At its peak in 1872, 17,500 tonnes of slate were being lifted from this place a year. Pretty incredible. It's amazing! We basically tried to walk the circular route just then and it was super windy, super rainy and we saw some cars and so we just said hi to them. And the guy was like, oh, you shouldn't be here. It's too dangerous. People fall over the edge. And we were like, yeah, we're being careful. We're sticking to the path. Like, we weren't doing anything wrong. We were stepping on paths. We weren't breaking into it anywhere. And he just made us feel really unwelcome. <sighs> so this is real life. Some adventures, this is what happens. This is literally real life. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. We're soaked. We're cold. Feel a bit defeated. But I think we're just going to try and get a bit warm and dry. And then we're going to go climbing. And that will really boost our spirits. I think it's needed right now. Zach, Zach's dog. Zach, Zach, there's a house there. They're gonna see me. Should be bringing everyone to Okay. Let's keep climbing. Half an hour. We got this. Indefatigable. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Letting out a bit of steam climbing, we headed to our next stop for the day and where our hotel was, Clangdagno. Well known for summer attractions, blue waters, northern location and famous goats. Not sure about that one, but we were excited to stay here for a few nights. Before checking into the hotel for the evening, we decided to explore a local cave, Elephant Cave. 
named that because the large limestone support columns are said to resemble elephant legs. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. Mm -hmm. It goes quite away. Right, it's the end. I can see light. At least it's dry in here. Why don't we pick more caves to do? Let's crawl through the gate. We're going to get into the hotel and we're going to be filthy. <laughs> I don't think it'd be that kind of cave. Oh, we made it. I can barely see. My hat kept going. Boo. That's a fun little just loop. That was really fun. God, you wouldn't want to meet anyone coming the other way though, would you? Oh, that was really fun. And it stopped raining. Yes. That cave did magical things. Following this, we headed down through the Botanical Garden along Marine Drive Road in search of our next place, Pigeon Cave. <laughs> However, the wildlife in the area had different ideas. <gasps> really? We're never getting in there. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Molting seals. Please avoid going within sound or sight of the beach. There's a lot of seals. There's goats on the street. No way. Really? Oh, oh my gosh, they're massive. Oh, it's climbed into their bush. That's so Oh, it's going to wreck their flowers. Oh, they're so naughty. Where do they come from? They're enjoying themselves. Look at them, they're so silly. Do you reckon that happens often? I don't it's know, but fluke. I don't know, but you never normally see them. Oh, do we have to call someone? <laughs> Is that what you call the police for around here? <laughs> Pizza pasta grill. <laughs> My favourite breakfast ever, just fruit, yoghurt, oats, yum, and treating myself to some smoked salmon too, and a banana, because I like food. The next day, with the gap in the rain, we headed into Anglesey, an island just off the north coast of Wales, well known for its beautiful beaches and ancient sites. Really cool. Our first stop was Porthwen Brickworks, laying within Hidden Bay and full of beehive kilns, rock arches, and old harbour buildings. We were eager to get out and explore this snapshot of history. This place is so cool. We thought it was cool just then, and then we actually come into the brick sheds. Look at this. What? Amazing. It's a lot of bricks. It is a lot of bricks. They're perfect as well, aren't they? Oh gosh, here we go. Someone's definitely stacked that up to try and get in. Oh. What? Oh, wow. Hi. Oh, it's right by us. Yeah. Lucky's coming back. You guys know I have a thing about robins. I just always feel really drawn to places where there's robins. And there was one that just came so close to us. And then I looked down and I found a lucky penny. Well, it's not a penny. It's a five pence. I don't know whether they're lucky, but in my eyes, they are. Zach said to make a wish and throw it in. So I'm going to do that. Oh, it didn't go in. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. <laughs> the robin is right by my feet. This whole building is going to come down in the next few years. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I knew the sea was coming in, but I didn't realise that far.
think this is hands down one of the coolest ruins we've been to. It's just absolutely insane. Just beautiful, stepping back in history. After leaving this oddly moving place, we headed further around Anglesey's Peninsula to Hollyhead Mountain, where South Stack promised us a beautiful lookout. Some kind people gave us their all day tickets. So oh, lucky day! <laughs> You're anchoring me! <laughs> This is Ellen's Tower, built in 1868 for, yep, you guessed it, a woman called Ellen. As a summer house, I had to paint in. What a treat. Battling the hailstorm and super strong winds, and despite the actual island being shut, we started the long walk down the steps to the bottom of the bridge. Should we go down? Yeah. With South Stack being home to many colonies of seabirds and the chance to see islands Wicklow Mountains on a clear day, this is definitely one of Anglesey's must see landscapes. Wow, that wind was intense. It was a welcome break to be in the car and out of the elements for a little bit. Our last spot for the day was 50 minutes to the south corner of Anglesey to Newborough Warren. With squirrel woodland. One of Britain's best havens for wildlife and coastal sand dune systems. Should we go? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, look. Like, this is so cool here. Imagine this in summer. I don't need this big jacket though. So now we're gonna walk a mile along the beach to the forest over there and along. Crazy, the mountains in the background. Having walked down Newborough Beach, we arrived at Clandwins Island, a remote tidal island home to the ruins of St. Doinvan's Church. Funnily enough, Doinvan was the patron saint of lovers and, as a result, the Welsh equivalent of St. Valentine. Although she is celebrated on the 25th of January, it still felt an odd coincidence for it to be Valentine's Day when we visited. What's in there? Oh, lost space. It's so dusty. is that for a sunset watching spot when that is their view <laughs> crazy we got back from it's probably like 8 8 p.m right now we got back probably 20 minutes ago we had to go past tesco's to pick up some food and we've actually made ramen in our very own tupperware <laughs> using the kettle from our room with tofu, bean sprouts and spring onions. What a day. It was such a busy but really good day. Mm -hmm. a good Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's been really, really good. We packed so much in and the last place we left was just so incredible. The camera just kind of didn't capture the true beauty of that place. The sun was setting and it was everything went purple and everyone had left and just, yeah, it was beautiful. It's nice and quiet. So we're going to end the video now. We're here obviously for another day. So if you want to see 
Where we're going tomorrow is actually a really cool place and we're going on a big old hike. If you want to see where that is, then make sure you turn that notification bell on and it will be in the next video. So that's all for us for now. We hope you enjoyed and we'll see you all again soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs>